Hey, what's up guys? Bajira here. This is gonna be another back day video for me. This is just after we got home from Disneyland, and I'm glad to be back in my home gym, kicking some butt, making some gains. But uh, so far the bulk, or the return of bulk Jira even, has been pretty successful. One of the things that's pretty funny is that I think that like for the finals of my physique show, we were on stage at probably like below 180. And when I weighed myself at the gym after this workout, I was back up to 202. So there's a lot of factors that could sort of um, play into that number. Like, you know, water, just more food in my system, uh, maybe some muscle regain, definitely some fat gain. But uh, a 20 pound difference over the course of about a month is pretty funny to me. Uh, it's not really all that surprising, um, especially because I, I did... Uh, anticipate gaining back some weight and uh, in terms of the way I've been doing my diet I have not really been reverse dieting all that much. I've pretty much just been like all right Let's do it, baby. It's time to bulk. Let's get right into it I figured my metabolism would catch up and it and it has so I mean I'm, I'm happy Put on a little bit of body fat is not a huge deal, but uh, to be back in, at, at you know above 200 pounds is pretty fun um, You know that and that weight gain is not without some strength gain too. I'm feeling more powerful in the gym I'm having really fun workouts really being able to exert quite a bit um, in this workout in particular, this is my uh, back day, but you'll see me in between all my back sets doing some chest exercises as well. So when I do these chest exercises, I'm pretty much using machines mostly. Uh, when I do my chest days, in addition to the, uh, the, the normal chest stuff that I'm doing, I'm also doing pull-ups. I'm also doing these rows that I'll actually show you later. Uh, it's like plate-loaded row. It's pretty fun. But um, I like to do a little bit of chest with my back workout too. So. I feel like it sort of enhances the pump. I feel like it sort of helps me stay mentally focused in the workout, and it just feels good. I like doing sort of opposing movements uh, for supersets. I don't like to take a whole lot of recovery, um, just chilling in between my sets. But when I do another set of some other exercise, it gives me about like a minute to recover um, between whatever exercise that I'm doing. So it's partially like supersets, and it's partially just active recovery. But uh, this workout was a lot of fun for me. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm able to load up a little bit more weight. Of course, on the machines, you can pretty much put the entire stack on the uh, on the pressing machines and just go with that. Um, I'm still working up to that sort of thing on my back. Uh, I feel like my back was an area that showed a lot of improvement leading up to the competition, um, mostly just in terms of leanness. Um, but when we saw what my back was, you know, stripped of body fat, um, it was it was okay. It was competitive. I mean, it allowed me to definitely stay in the competition. But I don't think my the, my my back from the from the back was like the wow factor. I think that my wide lats really helped out a lot. Um, and to, to achieve wide lats, I was doing a lot of this exercise right here, this machine even just really really wide grip pull downs, really squeezing, really making sure to get a nice full extension, a little stretch there. Um, I think, but yeah, I feel like the width of my lats was good. But I feel like the the thickness of my back. Especially my upper back is something that I need to work on a lot um, during this bulk time. And I think that I am going to be giving myself, at the very least, a full year to bulk. Um, I'm considering, you know, a year and a half and then dieting for, you know, I guess like half a year like I did this time. And getting in good shape to round out the sort of two year cycle of training where I do a year and a half of bulking, you know, half a year dieting and then, and then compete again. Something like that. But right now, my main focus at the gym is sort of taking this as a transition period, understanding that I'm not going to have my full strength back for a little bit, even as I'm putting more food in. Um, but, you know, allowing the transition to training with heavier weights to occur again. And there are some times where I'm feeling really good and I can load up a lot of weight and really rip it. But uh, there's some exercises, like still with the pull downs, where I'm not being able to just rip huge weight just yet. Because I still want to maintain some form, but you can see that in a lot of these exercises, even like this one, I'm really kind of just like pumping out the reps because it feels good. It feels good to do that. It feels good to have the strength to aggressively just go after a lift and, and it's and it's fun for me. So that's what I'm doing. Ultimately, the goal is to uh, incorporate some heavier weight, lower rep stuff to get some strength and also to help, you know, me build muscle because if you're getting stronger, then that means that the moderate weight, moderate reps approach that I feel helps me grow the most I can actually perform that, the, what, what a moderate weight is, uh, is going to increase. So, you know, just doing moderate weight, moderate reps, you will get stronger over time, but it's important to, at least for me, to bring in some of the heavier weights too with lower reps. And that's something that I've done for a long time. And when I look back on it, I'm like, okay, that's how I got stronger. Because I always like to do like a pyramid, which helped. I think most of the pyramids just sort of get my mind right, get warmed up, 
and just work my way up to heavier weights. So I might not be like the freshest for the heaviest weights that I'm gonna do, but I feel like it, it sort of forces me to uh, work my hardest with the heaviest weight, which I think is kind of fun. So I'll probably pyramid up to some really heavy sets of like uh, my compound movements, like the big ones, like bench, uh, incline bench, uh, deadlifts, squats. For my back, I'm gonna have to figure out what kind of exercise I want to sort of pyramid up to, what, what kind of exercise I want to anchor my, my workouts around, because deadlifts are great for your back, but I'm thinking that I need to have like more like pulling exercises, and that one that I just showed you right there, the sort of uh, bent over row kind of thing, uh, that's an exercise that I really, really like, and I'm probably going to be incorporating more and more as my workouts, as my back workouts progress. Obviously, when you think of upper back, and when you think of my physique in particular, my traps really need to grow, and I've been hammering my traps for a long time, but uh, they're definitely going to be uh, getting beat up pretty much every day during this bulking process. I'm eating plenty, plenty of food, and I'm getting enough rest that my recovery should be just fine, especially with the way that I'm training. Even though I'm training hard, I'm not feeling too beat up, so the combination of plenty of food, you know, good, smart training, and plenty of rest is pretty much how I plan to put on muscle. Of course, the, the main factor in all of this is being willing to put in a lot of work over a long period of time, but I definitely am up for that. Um, but I'm really excited to, to see to see how we do. We've already gotten back up to 200 pounds, which is not super surprising. I think my body likes to be around 200 pounds. So, you know, from now on, it's going to be... I, th I think we'll give about another month before it's going to be really tough to start gaining weight. I think I can easily get back up to 210, 215, but... Past that, past around 210, I think that's going to be when it's a little bit more difficult to put on weight. But so far, everything is going pretty well. I'm not putting on too, too much body fat. You know, definitely, definitely it's noticeable for me, but we were shredded to the bone. So putting on a little bit of body fat is probably an okay thing, um, especially if the amount of food that I'm eating is helping me uh, recover and grow. That's the whole point. So anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Plenty more gym stuff on the way. Be sure to show these videos some love if you do enjoy them, because I definitely enjoy posting them for you. But once again, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Peace!